morning. If you can hear me, maybe type a message. It's just testing. morning oh susan you're here hmm i can't see you typing in the in the group message at all doesn't matter someone's typing so Nothing has happened. Is there a net? Can you see? Can you see a clan underneath the video or anything? Susan, which uh? Are you using the testing every video chat group? Or did you I think you're you're using the event? Let me check. Yeah, you you're doing you you're going through. Susan, you're going you you're typing as part of the comment which appears on my video screen. Um, Annette, if you can type through the comment section on the event, not not on the chat, not on the messenger chat group.
is uh, we share it online. Okay, Annette can hear me good. Uh, Susan, you can hear me too. Can you see the video as well? Okay, I'm moving the plant, I'm tilting the plants. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah? There seems to be a bit of delay with what I'm doing actually and what's on the screen. Annette, can you see the video now? Okay, good. Susan, can you see the video? Uh, we'll, we'll start. Susan, can you see the video? Okay, I'll, I'll make a start anyway. This is just a trial, okay? Um, so I'll just see how I'm going to interact with you and the video, given that all you can do is type. And there seems to be a bit of delay between what I'm doing and what you are going to see, because I can, I can see a delay in, on my screen. All right. Now, it's, yeah, okay. Uh, so just see whether, later on tell me whether it's too dark, I'm too fast. Uh, the delay is causing a bit of concern for me because I've already gone past what you are seeing. Uh, okay, I picked this plant, Rob Vanilla Trail. Okay, um, I did a number one haircut, uh, I think, I can't remember now, uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, number one haircut means I cut right bay to the bottom. And all this you can see now is the growth uh, from since then. Um, so... So, um, sorry, I keep on having to pause to look at the comment. Uh, it's when it was just right in front of me. Um, all right. Um, as you can see, the plant is no longer center. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, to be honest, whether as it grows, does that it really matter? Because Rob Vanilla Trail actually has a long growing stem so it can easily cover this bit so but I'm taking the opportunity after after the reshoots is to get rid of all that top soil and also the bottom soil so and then refresh the soil and in this case I might actually even pot it down a little bit okay because uh, uh, we'll, we'll see how it, it, it's going to look like when I take it out so that's that's the purpose of this exercise okay uh, is there any question at this stage? Okay. Um, let me go ahead to the next stage. Um, okay. Uh, just gonna take this. Just have a look at the can. So this is loose, just fine. Can pin that down a little bit. Let's see. 
this one actually die off uh, let me see you can can i'm not sure you can see that well because of the lighting so there's a a, a die off this branch actually has died off so as a show plan let's see um you must have to get rid otherwise you you end up having multiple plants in one pot so one of the exercise of this is to make sure that you only have a single plant at the end okay so i'm just going to tip it uh, uh, this as you can see i'm going to clean all this out there's a lot of sediment here so this is also this is about a year of potting mix and uh, get rid of, of the top so i just do this so it's fairly loose the top one that that grow up most of come up because of this part already broken and die off so I just use my hand to start with right, this slowly so okay scissor as you can see see that's die off so I'm just gonna cut it off uh, I got another plant which I can grow in another pot, a small pot if I want to. So I'll train all the dead bits and be a bit vicious with it. Just taste them all. Taste them all. So oh I still have a pin some old pin somewhere the kind of way that goes to oh yeah I can see it now so I'll take that off so I just scrap off the top side tool like that's useful take it off earlier but I can always forget uh, go in there okay let's see under the roots there just tasting out a bit of it that's many uh, just not too much though so get this side off too get rid of as much of that top layer because so it destroy all the salt sediment from the fertilizer is going to be the top and the bottom layer is the part and you can see there's an old that stem here so let's cut it off Mm -hmm. Just cut it off. Uh, there's another deck. So, problem with this X. This problem with trailer is that you keep on getting this sort of thing happening as they grow. Uh, you don't have a choice. Uh, it will just die off. Stain. So, that's die off as well. So that's another plant if you want to plant. There's another plant if you want to plant. So so you remember strict about the rules on one plant. You got to get rid of a lot of it. So you, you want to make this the center. So you just release some of this soil away. Okay, the old wheat. So, got like quite a lot to to be honest, um, a lot more than 
I original intended. So let me get rid of this crap. So that's how you end up. This is the small bunch. Okay. What I might do is uh, before I plant it, I actually want to wash it. Okay. Okay. This is my bucket of water. Okay. The water needs to be. Uh, Okay, I saw a message which I forgot to look at, which is the tools I use. It's just, um, I don't know what you call this. I forgot. Uh, in the club, they mentioned a few times, but I forgot. So, something like that. Uh, I think you can get in $2 shop or your club. Uh, most of the, this part are bent. There's a hook style rather than straight style. It's hard to get the straight style one now. I find it a lot more better than the hook style. Um, and obviously a scissor, a small one. This sometimes is useful. Uh, I bought the someone sent it as a gift when I bought some orchids. So it's, it's something you can so it's not for cutting. Uh, anyway. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and that you're right. It's suck, it's sucker plucker. It's what it's called in the club. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, I'm forgetting about. That. So now, what I'm going to do is give it a wash. All right. Uh, all I do is just dip it. Um, the water is room temperature water. Obviously, my room is quite warm, about twenty degrees. So. Uh, so depending on cold, don't don't make sure that the temperature is not below, uh, uh, below twenty degree because it will give the plant a bit of shock. So the idea is just wash off some stuff because I already got rid of a lot of the potting mix. I'm not going to do too much of that washing. Uh, so it varies from plant to plant. Sometimes you don't, I don't get it as much as that. Then I have to do a lot more washing, especially at the bottom to get rid of the bottom. But in this case, um, there's already already a lot of wash. Uh, the bottom soil being uh, taken out. Um, so that's why it's, I need to do a little bit of cleaning. Pull this plant away. Some rubbish. I don't like to work with clean table. Okay. Um, okay. Now I pre prepare. Uh, this is a shombo. It's a bit hard to get now. About sixteen centimeters big, okay, in diameter. So lots of holes. I like to punch a lot of hole. Just get the aeration going. I right, so uh, I have no idea where they go. Oh yes, yeah. Prepare a, a label. So I like to play the name label, the type of the trailer, semi miniature trailer, and today's day. So I know when when this was ported up. So uh, just stick it there. and I also prepare wigs. Uh, so this are uh, four ply. Uh, my wigs is always four ply acrylic wigs. Uh, so I know a lot of people use eight. I use four because sometimes I only have a smaller spot so I use one strain for a bigger pot like this uh, I'll use two okay oh, so you can see some sticking out and a bit of the potting mix so 
my pork meat is really, really uh, lots of perlite. Okay, so what I do is just put a bit on, and then move that to the side. I'll gauge how deep the plant is. So if I put the plant back, see how it looks like. Mm, it's just about the right depth. Mm. So I take this opportunity to center the the plant a little bit. Okay. So now I'm just going to slowly move putting this away. You can see better. Uh, sorry, I don't want to get the table top too dirty. So just slowly slowly fit up. A jiggle and uh, that's almost it. Uh that's stem like this eventually when the soil the potting mix settle a bit and the roots grow a bit more you might get suckle so that's why i then pin it down so it's a bit early because the soil is too loose you can't really pin it down at the moment so when the roots grow a little bit more and you get more sucker coming out hopefully you can pin this down huh? so and to pin that i might I'll give that a go. Uh, it's, this is those paper clip. So that's all I do. It's unwind. Depending on how long it is, you want it. You want longer, you just bend it like that and you hook it there. So the idea is that the stem will hook onto there. In this case, I don't need to be that long. So, and sometimes I might even need to cut it. So, so in this case, I'm going to cut. Just use a wire cutter, uh, uh, and let's say in this case, I'll see whether it will hold. Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, it doesn't matter when these are there. You can cut that leaf off if you want. See what I can do the other side because the center is got roots and things like that, so it will hold, but it's just not the side because the sides are all the loose potting mix. So, okay, so I tend to cut the Okay, so okay, so you might want to cut this. Okay, trim it off. The other one look okay. Trim this one off. So although the shoots look like they going there, it might grow um, with the lights. It will grow back up again, yeah? and all these suckers, they'll grow straight up once it got the influence of the light. So that's one part done. I'll take this away. The second last part is to put some medication and some uh, 
my pain solution. I call it pain solution because uh, it actually have a medication to uh, prevent uh, soy melee. Okay, the idea is for the plant to soak it up. So I used about two mil per liter water. So in this case, I'm just gonna fill it up. All right. And I added some nitrozyme solution as well. And again, two mil per liter. The nitrozyme is mainly for uh, uh, for what's that? For encourage root growth. Okay. So this stage is really important. Uh, I wonder whether uh, nitrozyme is quite expensive. Uh, no wonder whether what was that sea salt would have the same effect. Okay, sea salt is always good when you when you uh, report plants. All right, so I actually soak in there uh, as much as I can. Put a little bit more. I let it sit there for maybe at least 10 15 minutes. The idea is get it, the moisture all up. Let it sort a bit. Uh, the solution, in terms of my pink solution, I can't quite remember. Uh, Koki 200 SC. Uh, the idea of the solution, so you can buy tablets as well, but solution is better, you can control the dosage and the idea as well is to absorb it. Um, okay. Alright, now I saw a few questions I've answered once Annette did I spray the pot black. Uh, in this case, this come black already, there's the white, uh, I think there's uh, some really, maybe it's old, it was a beige color one, I did spray them, but so this one I didn't, this come black already, there's a black version. Um, okay, I'll zoom in on the pinning for Susan. Okay. I'm not sure whether I can zoom or not, yes I can. Uh, so I'll bring this back up a bit. Uh, oh, I'll put the pin. Uh, move the leaves away. Uh, yeah, you can see the pin. Yeah, and so the pin there. Okay, so I aim it down to the middle because that's where the root mass is. So that's how it holds the pin. If you you aim the pin to the to the outside, they're all loose potting mix, so that you won't it won't hold it. So that's why there's limited pinning you can do at this stage. Uh, if you if you pin it, it, the things that spring back up again at this stage, and leave it for typing until it grows more roots and bind the polymer mix together, then it will, it will be easier at that point in time. Okay. All right. Um, Okay, is still any, I, I think that's where it is still, so this will still be a little bit, I can feel a bit moisture coming up now, which is good. Uh, so let's sit there for about, as I said earlier, 10-15 minutes, I'll take it out, I'll drip dry it, I won't just put it straight into a recovery box. Uh, so this will go, once I drip dry it, uh, it will go into a recovery box and uh, sit in there for about four, four to six weeks, uh, depending on how it goes. And it, at that time, there was no watering, no nothing. I'm just, just going to watch how it grows and so on. Okay, is there any other question? Oh, could you water the solution through? I try not to do that because it tends to drain off the fine particle like the peat. 
So I rather have it going bottom up so that when you water it tends it tends to from the top it tends to drain those tiny bits of particle out. So I, I, I tend to prefer to this sort of watering. That's why to me wicking is better in that sense. Is there any other question? No? Okay. All right. I think this is a good test run. Uh, uh, maybe you can give me feedback in terms of the lighting, the movement. Is there too much movement? Uh, the voice, the sound, the volume is that sufficient? Is there background sound? I can hear some background sound. I turn off all my fans, so that reduces it. Um, so anything feedback you can do, provide, that would be great. Okay. Uh, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. I'll post this up so you can have a look at it. Okay. Thank you.